Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the Beast Pokemon here as always guys and welcome to the next Wi-Fi battle on the channel. Today I have a UU battle against my good man Assault Glade. I'm sure you guys uh, recognize his name hopefully. He's one of my mods on Twitch and a really good friend overall. Um, so yeah, we have a UU battle against him. Shout out to him. His link will be in the description below. He has a YouTube channel guys. Definitely check it out. The man's quality, quality, quality. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run through the teams real quick. Um, he's going to be bringing the Chandelure, a Nidoking, a Salamence, a Florgis, a... Uh, Steelix, which is going to be his Mega, and a Mamoswine, uh, most likely a set of rocks. Then on my team, we're going to be rocking the Darmanitan, the Nidoking, the Sceptile, which is going to be our Mega, favorite Mega in UU, to use. Blastoise is my favorite Mega, but Sceptile is my favorite to use. Um, Florgis, uh, God, Gligar, Capri Sun Jr. in this bitch, and then uh, Toxicroak. Uh, I, we talk a lot of trash about UU to each other, because like we just like to play UU a lot, and... Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I always talk trash and like oh dude my Honchkrow is about to come and sweep you so I, I didn't bring the Honchkrow instead I decided to bring the Toxicroak to uh, help like be our little setup sweeper with the Swords Dance and the uh, what's that move called Sucker Punch so yeah that's that let's go ahead and hop into the battle real quick I don't know what music I was using it sounds like the normal music I don't know anyways he's gonna go ahead and uh, start the battle we're gonna lead out with our Darmanitan. Uh, like I usually do because it's choice card, so the U-turn goes like super fast and shit. And he's going to lead out with his Mammoth Swine. Now, my po thought process is like, oh, dude, I can want to kill with the superpower. I'll go ahead. I use Super Mario. Yes, that's a huge threat out the field. And uh, no, he has, yeah, he lives it I, for a second. I think he had Focus Ash, but he also lives it. And he's going to go ahead and knock us off, and that's going to do massive damage and uh, almost take it off. And we're in the range of an Ice Shard being able to kill us. So he does go for the Ice Shard. And unfortunately, that's one of our most threatening team members already off the field. Uh, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, Darmantan is like the best Pokemon in UU, in my opinion. It's just so good. But we're able to send out Dart because uh, we have the Sucker Punch. But he's going to go ahead and withdraw the Mammoth Swine. I could have predicted I had gone for a Sword Stance, but I didn't. Or did I? Did I? No. We went for the Drain Punch. My bad. Um, he's going to go ahead and uh, switch into Chandler and eat that up. Now he's going to go for the Fire Blast. Me knowing I'm Focus Ash goes ahead and is like, dude, let's go ahead and Sword Stance. So he takes us down to our Focus Sash, and we're going to go ahead and dance with the Blades, guys. We're going to go ahead and raise our attack by two stages, so, you know, we're looking pretty strong right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use the Sucker Punch, and that is going to fuck this Lemon Pledge up. No Lemon Pledge for you. So again, another huge threat off the field already. Uh, this battle's getting, like, into it really quick. So he's going to go ahead and send out the Steelix, I'm like, fucking YOLO Drain Punch, you know. Uh, but first off, he's going to Mega Evolve, and I'm like, oh god, this thing is some bulk. Yeah, it's a really scary team member, guys. It's Mega Steelix. It's not something you want to fuck with. But we go ahead and hit him with that Drain Punch. And it's going to do, do really good damage because we're plus two and stab and everything. Uh, and it's going to heal us a bit. Um, which is good, but unfortunately he goes for the Roar, so we're going to lose our Sword Stance. But we still have the Sucker Punch in the back, so that's good. He was probably going to be better off just killing us. But he sends out our Capri Sun Jr. Um, so he's going to switch out. I don't know what he's fearing. Uh, but he's going to send his Mammoth Swine most likely to sack it. So there it is, nice and shiny. But instead, I actually go for the Stealth Rocks, which is really good to get some rocks up on his side of the field. Um, I'm afraid of the Ice Shard, but I know I can take it because I'm very, very defensive. Especially with the Evil Light. Capri Sun Jr. is kind of a pimp and a thug and really good. Uh, but we go ahead and hit him with a knockoff. And yeah, it turns off he does. Turns out he did have the Focus Sash, I believe. So yeah, we weren't, yeah. So we weren't going to kill him anyways, that first move. So he's going to go ahead and send out his Forges. And uh, that's pretty scary, but I know that I have the Toxic. So I go ahead and use the Toxic on him. Uh, which is going to be good to rack up damage. He's most likely rocking Aromatherapy. So it's not the greatest thing, but I thought it would just be cool to use. Uh, but he go ahead and uses Wish, which I'm like, oh god damn it. This is not good. Uh, I know he's probably going to want to Wish past this to someone else. So I'm really scared about what's going to happen. Uh, luckily for me, he's going to take some Poison damage real quick. I get hit by the Poison. And yeah, then he's going to withdraw. And uh, he's going to go straight back into it. Tiffany, the Steelix, and uh, I'm not going to be able to kill him because my Gligar has no investment into attack. I believe I go for the knockoff, yeah. It's going to do, like, no damage, uh, which sucks, and we can't poison him, and he gets all his health back, so that's not good. I decided to go for the Roost here just to heal up a bit and scout out what he's going to do. He can't go for rocks, obviously, because he already sent them out. Or no, he didn't send out. What am I talking about? He used Ice Shard, man. I'm sorry, my bad. I got him confused. My God, I'm not uh, so, okay, he sends out rocks there. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, we knock him off. Uh, he's going to use Heavy Slam, and I know we'll be able to eat that up really good, which we do. Steelix isn't the greatest physical attacker, as it is a physical wall. 
If we just stay in and knock off, it gets like a little boring here. He's gonna go ahead and roar, and uh, luckily for me, he's gonna send in Geico, my Sceptile. So I know he's most likely gonna switch here, or he's gonna wanna take the attack. He's probably not gonna wanna take it, so he does switch. So uh, I make a pretty nice prediction, and I go for the substitute, as you'll see here in a second. Which ends up really helping. Uh, I don't know why, but I always run substitute on Mega Sceptile. I just think it's like good. It's like useful or something. Oh yeah, look at this Christmas tree. Alright, cool. So yeah, we pull out the substitute, which he's probably like, what the fuck, who runs substitute on Mega Sceptile? And I'm just like, bitch, me, bitch. Uh, he's gonna take some leftovers recovery, which is not the greatest thing. What he's also gonna lose all that with the poison damage. And poison damage will come into uh, help that's really good. So we're going to use the Giga Drain. Now this part is really smart because I do have Leaf Storm. But I don't want to lower my special attack. And I don't want him to know that I have Leaf Storm. He's probably expecting me to use Leaf Storm if I have it on the first turn. Um, and I, I don't use it. So he's going to use Aromatherapy which unfortunately is going to take away his toxic damage. Uh, which sucks but... You know, it could be worse. He could have, like, Moonblasted there or something and got rid of our substitute already. But we're going to go ahead and use another Giga Drain right here. And it's going to take him right out of the range of a third one killing. It would be close, but I don't believe it would have killed uh, our next Giga Drain. He's going to go ahead and use the Wish, hoping to live the next one and get all his HP back. Uh, but unfortunately for him, we do have the Leaf Storm. We we're bluffing it. He's going to take the Leftovers Recovery. But uh, even that's not going to be enough to live the Leaf Storm from the Mega Sceptile. Shoots his motherfucking tail off and fucks up this stupid flower. So yeah, that's going to be a very big special defensive wall taken down by our Sceptile, which is really good and really helpful. Uh, next he's going to send in Wrecked, which is going to be his Nido King. Now, I wasn't sure if this thing Scarfed or, uh, Scarfed or, um, like, Life Orbed. Um, but we're going to use Leaf Storm, it's going to miss, unfortunately. I just thought while we're on this substitute, might as well get a free attack, but it missed, so that's not good. Uh, he's going to use Ice Beam, which is definitely going to break our substitute, considering that uh, we're Dragon and Grass. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw and go into Capri Sun Jr. just to sack him off at this point. He can't really do much, he set up his rocks, he's done his point, nothing needs to be knocked off. Um, maybe if he brought his, like, maybe if he brought, like, a Dublade, it'd be a different story, because that thing needs to catch a knockoff. Uh, but he doesn't, and, uh... Unfortunately, Capri Sun Jr. is going to go down. But I send in Pollen. You guys know this man from the MPA. Well, this female from the MPA. So, he's going to withdraw. I don't know exactly why. I, I just went into it because I knew he could eat it. So, I guess, I'm guessing he's, like, choice at this point because he would have stayed in. Uh, the Ice Beam would have done nothing. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up the Wish. So, uh... A thought process is like, I don't know, maybe in a few turns we'll need it or we can pass it off to someone. Um, someone mainly being Toxicroak. So we switch out right here and send in Dart the Toxicroak. Hoping to be able to eat up an attack. Um, so we take the 53. We're at 53 damage, but he uses Roar, unfortunately. Which is uh, going to switch us back into our Sniper. Um, so the Sniper's debut in the battle. Uh... Sniper gets his HP full after the rock damage because of the wish, which is kind of funny. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and start go for the Earth Power. I'm like, dude, we're going to outspeed. We're, uh, like, we're, we're, I believe we're the Life Orb set. Yeah, we are the Life Orb set. So we do that, and it kills, and it's like, god damn. So he sends his own Nido King, and I'm like, oh god, it's like Specs, right? It's Specs, it has to be Specs. We're fucked. We're fucked. And actually, Ice Beam outspeeds. I'm like, oh shit! Did we just do that? Now that I think about it, why do I go for why do I go for a uh, ice beam and not earth power? Earth power it's clearly done more, um, but it doesn't matter at this point. So then he's gonna go ahead uh, after he loses the Nido King and send in his Tyrone, which is gonna be his Salamence. I believe this is his last Pokemon. He's gonna go ahead and use Earthquake, and uh, unfortunately that's gonna be enough to take out Sniper, um, which I wasn't thinking was that big of a deal. I'm like, oh, we can just come in like Sucker Punch or do some shit, uh, but he actually gets the Moxie Boost. I'm like, oh fuck, we're done for. We're done for, guys. Uh, but it wasn't that big of a deal. So I go ahead and send in Geico. I'm like, alright, Geico, finish this off. Maybe he'll get outspeeded and die if he's choice scarfed. Um, but it looks to me that he wasn't. He must have been, like, Life Orb. I, I think he was Life Orb. I don't remember. I actually think the Nido King was Life Orb as well. Uh, but we're able to use Dragon Pulse and take out the Salamence, and uh, that's going to be the battle. So it was a really good battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like. It supports out my channel a lot, you know, guys. I'm trying to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. Uh, Wednesdays, I'm going to try and do, like, I don't know, weird videos, like maybe free-for-alls or Wi-Fi battles every Wednesday. So I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for that. 
Uh, remember to check out my Let's Play guides on my channel, my Leaf Green Ultimate Randomizer. It's pretty awesome. And uh, check out my boy Ass's channel, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like, and peace the fuck out. And see ya!